Pads and holes are the most prominent feature of a printed circuit board. Pads come in two varieties and in several shapes. There are the TH or through hole pads and SMD or surface mounted device pads. In the top image on the right side of this slide, you can see an example of a board that contains exclusively through hole pads. And in the bottom image, you can see a board that contains through hole and SMD pads. Through hole pads, unlike SMD pads, connect the front of the PCB with the back electrically. In these examples, you can see that the gold plating of the pad fills the inside of the hole. If you turn the PCB around, you'll see that a matching pad exists in the pack. Boards with mostly through-hole pads are popular among hobbyists because through-hole components are easier to work with, at least in the beginning. On the other hand, SMD components are smaller. Hobbyists tend to not use them until they are more comfortable with their soldering skills. I personally find that with a bit of practice, SMD components are as easy to work with as their through-hole counterparts. In the industry, on the other hand, the vast majority of PCBs are designed to contain SMD components. This is because SMD components can be populated on the board automatically using pick and place machines and because their small size results in smaller PCBs. Apart from the two varieties I described above, pads also come in several shapes. Most often you'll see round pads, but rectangular and oval shapes are also possible. Using KiCad, you can create such pads and control the geometry to the extent that your PCB manufacturer allows. In this slide, you can see an illustration of a cross section of a PCB that shows the configuration of pads and the two types of holes, plated through hole, PTH, and non-plated through hole, N. PTH. Plated through holes is the more common variety and the default type of hole in most cases. A drill is used to create a hole and then copper is used to cover the hole's side so that its two ends at the front and the back copper layer are electrically connected. Vias are constructed in the same way except that they have a much smaller diameter so that it's not possible to accommodate component pins. On the other hand, in a non-plated through hole, we use the same drill to create the hole, but there is no copper used to cover the sides of the hole, so there is no electrical connection between its two ends. Finally, pads without holes are useful for attaching surface mounted components, as you learned earlier. Okay, let's move on to the next lecture, where we'll have a look at this.